Good day, first all travelers, and welcome back. Today I am in Sorrento in southern Italy, and I have just had so much fun filming a video here. So why don't you stay tuned to find out why? Okay, let's start off with a little trip around Sorrento by visiting somewhere really impressive. By the way, yes, I'm in a jacket, but it's part of my outfit. I know I'm hot, but I'm in Sorrento, so I've got to look good. This down here is a gorge. It was created 40,000 years ago during a volcanic eruption. And when this happened, it created a number of streams, which made it an ideal location to have mills, water mills, saw mills, flour mills, etc. But what happened is over the years, due to the climate, it created a lot of damp, which made it the ideal location for a particular type of fern to grow which basically took over these mills and now that's left are ruins and it's really spectacular you wouldn't normally think of this sort of thing to be in someone like Sorrento you think it's all posh restaurants and celebrities but this is brilliant just come out of the station go for a little walk and you'll find this easy beautiful On a road called Corsa Italia which is the main street in Sorrento in terms of restaurants places to go shopping and I'm talking about epic shopping the more affluent type of shopping if you know what I mean I remember those days before I traveled to 24 countries anyway you can also um, go down one of the side streets which we're gonna go down now um, it's all very pretty lots of posh cars and lots of people looking nice in their nice jackets this has been in my suitcase for like 11 months Taking my jacket off because it was just too hot. I was dying. I'm talking about temperature hot, not sexy hot. Even though my haircut's all right. Anyway, um, I haven't had lunch yet, but I don't care. I'm having some gelato. I'm having some ice cream. It's dripping all over my hand. Okay. Um, pretty much um, gelato. You get it everywhere. It's nothing special. It's pretty much a tourist trap, but it is gorgeous. Mmm, heaven. I don't normally like um, chocolate ice cream because it never tastes like chocolate, but proper Italian gelato does beautiful and um, a cone like this has cost two euros you know extortionate but I don't care yum <laughs> well I've now stopped off in a place called Villa Comunale house communal I don't know it's a park and as you can see behind me there are amazing views of the sea mountains Sorrento is awesome I love it I want to come back here another time but I'll tell you now about my horrific day of catastrophic hell and disaster yesterday so you might remember from a few months ago when I was in Tokyo I hurt my foot my left foot I'll do a flashback right now my ankle is really hurting <laughs> anyway so it still hurts now by the way my foot uh, especially when I climb up ladders so I'm on the top bunk in my hostel more on that in a second First of all, I spilled pineapple juice all over my laptop. Luckily, it survived. Then I fell over in the shower. When I got out of the shower, there was water on the floor and went flying, landed on my ass. It wasn't pretty. Next up, I dropped my laptop down the stairs. Luckily, it was only about four steps, I think. And again, the indestructible laptop lived to survive another day. Then what happened? Oh, this was the best bit. Then I was walking along with my laptop. This one was completely my fault and I wasn't looking where I was going. And I tripped over some steps and landed on my right knee. And oh my God. The pain was monumental. I've never known pain like it, to the point that I was limping, I couldn't climb upstairs, I could then not climb the ladder to get on the top bunk, so I had to change beds, which proved to be my downfall. I got into the other bed, went to plug in my travel adapter, which then proceeded to explode with a blue spark of lightning. So I can now no longer charge my phone or anything. I'm looking for a new travel adapter. Um, so pretty much, um, the gods of travel must know I'm going back to London because they are causing me chaos every day. So um, let's have a look around this area. It's gorgeous. I 
I'm now down a bit further, so you can see down there how you get to these restaurants um, and also the beach area. Um, by the way, I'm feeling a bit nostal nostalgic, is the word. This is my last day of travel life, kind of, even though I'm still going to be travelling, but I'm going back to London. This is really odd. Um, and in terms of nostalgia, my Osmo is my best friend. If I was without this Osmo stabiliser, I would be dead. So um, on that note, I think it's time for a classic Shibuya Crossing Tokyo style motion time lapse. <laughs> I'm back on Corsa Italia now, continuing my exploration of Sorrento. Look what I've just found. Look at this gorgeous leather jacket. <laughs> I want it, but I've already got like six, five maybe? I don't know. That's what a first world traveller does, apparently, collecting leather jackets. And you've got nice women's ones there as well. I like that red one. Now one of the things you may want to do in Sorrento is visit Capri. This is an island off the coast of Sorrento and from what I've heard, it's very nice. However, I'm not going there. So it costs 35 euros one way, I believe. I've read online, but as you can see from this place I've just found, it's 50 euros. So that's expensive, to be honest with you. Um, and you go to the island on the boat, you have five hours free time and you can go to somewhere called the Blue Grotto which is apparently very famous but what I've also heard is overrated but to be honest with you I'm happy enough with Sorrento it's very nice right all this exploring has made me hungry which I've just realized is probably the first time I've ever said this on this channel I haven't had a pizza yet in Italy so um I think it's about time I did. Now, there's one thing with pizza and me, right? I don't want pizza, I need pizza. Pizza is the best. So, um, let's see if we can find some that is reasonably in my budget. Okay, while I'm on my food hunt, I've stumbled across the main square of Sorrento, which is called Piazza Tasso. And right next to me is a statue of Saint Antonio, or Sant'Antonio. That's how you say it in Italian, apparently. Uh, he's the patron saint or protectorate of Sorrento and it's funny uh, Saint Antonio Sorrento they sound quite similar maybe that's where the name came from I don't know if you know why don't you tell me in the comments below because my knowledge of Italy and Sorrento is pretty much nothing okay just to give you an idea of the cost of pizza in Italy so if you're in Naples for example you can get pizza very cheap something like three euros five euros apologies for the noise this place I'm going to show you now, I'm not going to go in there by the way, is called Tasso Restaurante Pizzeria. As you'd expect in Sorrento, things like pizza are slightly more expensive, so pizzas are around 10 euros, 12 euros, uh, somewhere like this. But how about we find somewhere a little bit cheaper? So good news, I found somewhere a bit cheaper in my price range. It's called Bar del Carmine, I think. Have a look at the menu, how helpful am I? You've got um, antipasti, appetizers, I'm going to have some of them. Um, pizza is significantly cheaper, it's about eight euros. You also have a good beer menu and also wine. Um, some of my friends may know that I'm a big fan of pink wine, rosé, which I'll be getting. Let's face it, it's my last day of travelling so I think it's a good idea to treat myself. On with the food. So let's start off with some anti-pasti. Basically it's an appetizer, if you don't know, it's a selection of Italian meats and cheeses which pretty much is everything I've been eating while I've been in Italy is my dream meal. Meat and cheese forever. Let's have some prosciutto. Heaven. Mm. There are no words to describe what I'm eating right now. <laughs> Let me just do the um, sheena shimmy. <clears throat> Heaven. Let's move on to the pizza. I've got a diavola, which is fairly simple. It's basically just tomato, cheese and salami, which, let's face it, is the best thing on the planet. Knife and fork. You don't eat pizza in Italy with um, your hands. Let's face it. Gorgeous. Mm. 
Oh, it's heaven. Spicy as well, which is um, the best thing on the planet. Come to this place, I'll put all the details below. So when you're in Sorrento, you can come here also and have this amazing pizza. You also get free garlic bread, which wasn't expected. Right, I'm one slice down. I've got to say, this is the best pizza I've ever had. I'm so happy right now, it's unbelievable. By the way, if you like what you're seeing in this video and you want me to do more food videos, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below as well. Because I'm going to London next and I will be doing a lot of food videos in London. Hopefully, if that's what you want to see. Anyway, I'm going to finish this pizza because let's face it, nothing comes between me and pizza. Okay, Italy, you've uh, defeated me. I cannot fit another pinch of pizza in my fat gut. Cheers, everyone. So that's my time in Sorrento done. My jacket's back on, my stomach is full of pizza, and I am very happy. I really like Sorrento, it's gorgeous. Make sure you come here if you're in Italy, please do. It's completely changed my perception of Italy. Prior to this, I wasn't the biggest fan, but now, I love it, beautiful. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below, tell me about your trip to Sorrento, and also, do a like, hit that like button. Next up is videos from London. I cannot wait. Boss, I'm equally petrified. So stay tuned to see what I can bring you from London. And of course, as always, I'll catch you later. Sorrento's main street in terms of shopping, booking tours, buying ice cream. Uh, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm.